Hi, I am Xavier from Navy Recognition, reporting from the huge DCNS exhibit here at Giro Naval 2014, where the spotlight is put on the X-Win 4000. Let's find out what this concept ship is all about with Philippe Satou, marketing manager for surface ships at DCNS. Yes, I can introduce you to the uh, X-Win 4000, which is our new concept for Unaval this year. Uh, it's a concept ship, actually, with uh, eight uh, major innovations. Uh, one of them being the Next Gen Combat Bridge project, that actually uh, is visible also on uh, the DCNS uh, stand. Uh, other innovations uh, related to this uh, concept ship are, for instance, the asymmetric warfare. Uh, the asymmetric warfare being uh, incorporated in our next-gen combat bridge uh, as a, uh, a feature of that bridge. Uh, another topic uh, being, the, uh, for instance, the um, flex zone, which is an area that could be uh, configured according to the mission. Uh, mission being, uh, for instance, uh, anti-submarine warfare. Uh, could be also for special forces or humanitarian support operations. These are just examples, obviously, of uh, the innovations that we are uh, working on and uh, our objective is to uh, vest those innovations, to introduce those innovations to our ships, our existing uh, combat ships. On this model you have uh, actually a trimaran uh, with a, a, a top speed of 30 knots. It's a ship about 4,000 tons uh, of displacement. And this is uh, basically one example of what we can design uh, in case of a concept ship some of the uh, key uh, design features of uh, the X-Win 4000. You may spot uh, the uh, two helicopter spots uh, or UAV and helicopter spots. Uh, this is one key feature. Uh, obviously, navies are looking for operating uh, UAVs as well. Uh, in the hangar, we can uh, host uh, either two helicopters or one helicopter and uh, four drones for UAVs, for instance. Uh, you may spot also uh, the, um, the mast, which is uh, actually uh, uh, built around the ship uh, at, uh, at the top, uh, where you have all the um, long-range, uh, short-range, satellite, uh, electric warfare capabilities, even the communications. Uh, one other feature also is uh, the uh, aviation bridge, although uh, you have also the uh, 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 combat bridge which is located actually here uh, as I uh, mentioned uh, earlier uh, the um, uh, CIC being just uh, beneath uh, the uh, combat bridge um, you could see here the uh, main gun uh, which is uh, integrated within uh, the, the structure uh, in order to uh, keep it very stealth you have of course the missiles uh, uh, surface to surface missiles and we have also the uh, surface to air missiles which are located uh, at this part of the ship okay these are just a few examples uh, of uh, uh, this feature maybe for the propulsion I would uh, stress that you have um, hello pumps and even a water jet to get uh, top speed of uh, 30 knots so as a conclusion I would say that uh, um, some of those innovations will be uh, introduced to our uh, uh, combat ships like the uh, corvettes, for instance, Goins corvettes, or the uh, frigates like the Frem. I would point out, for instance, the next gen combat bridge. Uh, we uh, intend to put some of the innovations already within the Goin 2500 uh, uh, corvettes. And I would stress as also another example being the uh, um, naval integration of uh, UAVs. Uh, we already started uh, on that front with uh, the uh, OPV 90, uh, La Droit, and we uh, intend to uh, pursue with, uh, of course, the Corvette, with the Tanan, which is an armed UAV that is also visible on our stand. Thank you very much.